Overcoming Anxiety with Faith Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, In today's fast-paced and uncertain world, anxiety has become a common struggle for many people, including Christians. However, as followers of Christ, we are called to trust in God's plan for our lives and to find peace in His presence, even in the midst of anxiety-provoking situations. Understanding Anxiety Anxiety is a natural human emotion, but when it becomes overwhelming and interferes with our daily lives, it can be debilitating. It is important to recognize the signs of anxiety and seek help if needed. Biblical Perspective Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse reminds us to turn to God in prayer when we are anxious and to trust in His peace. Trusting in God's provision. Matthew 6 verse 25 to 34 reminds us of God's provision and care for us. Jesus encourages us not to worry about our needs, but to seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to us as well. This verse teaches us to trust in God's provision and to focus on Him rather than our anxieties. Practical Steps to Overcome Anxiety Pray. Take your anxieties to God in prayer, asking Him for peace and guidance. Meditate on Scripture. Fill your mind with God's Word, which can bring comfort and peace. Seek support. Talk to a pastor, counselor, or trusted friend about your struggles. Practice self-care. Take care of your physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. God's promise of peace. Isaiah 41 verse 10 assures us, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God promises to be with us in our times of anxiety and to give us the strength we need to overcome. Anxiety is a common struggle, but as Christians we can find peace and strength in God's presence. By turning to Him in prayer, trusting in His provision and seeking support from others, we can overcome anxiety and live with confidence in His plan for our lives. So let us wake up to the reality of God's presence and find peace in Him, even in the midst of anxiety. Why should a believer pray against anxiety? Anxiety is a common struggle that many believers face, but it is not something we have to endure alone. Through prayer and faith, we can find peace and strength to overcome anxiety and live the abundant life that God has promised us. God's Invitation to Prayer Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 urges us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God, and it is through prayer that we can find peace in the midst of anxiety. Casting your cares on God. First, Peter 5 verse 7 encourages us, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. God cares deeply for us, and He invites us to cast all our anxieties on Him. When we pray against anxiety, we are acknowledging our need for God's help and entrusting our worries to Him. Replacing Anxiety with Peace Isaiah 26 verse 3 assures us, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. When we pray against anxiety, we are declaring our trust in God and inviting His peace to fill our hearts and minds. Prayer helps us to focus on God's promises rather than our fears. Renewing your mind. Romans 12 verse 2 reminds us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Prayer is a powerful tool for renewing our minds and aligning our thoughts with God's truth. When we pray against anxiety, we are inviting God to transform our minds and help us see our circumstances from His perspective. Strengthening your faith. James 1 verse 6 encourages us, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Praying against anxiety requires faith in God's ability to bring peace and comfort. As we pray in faith, our trust in God grows, and we become more resilient to anxiety. In conclusion, praying against anxiety is not a sign of weakness, 
but a demonstration of faith. Through prayer we can find peace, strength, and comfort in God's presence. So let us pray without ceasing, knowing that God hears our prayers and will answer according to His perfect will. Do not be anxious about your situation. In our journey of faith, it's natural to face moments of anxiety and worry, especially when we are confronted with challenging situations. However, as Christians, we are called to trust in God's provision and to cast all our anxieties on Him. Scriptural Foundation Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 reminds us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse encourages us to bring our worries to God in prayer and to trust in His peace. God's provision. Matthew 6 verse 25 to 34 teaches us about God's provision and care for us. Jesus reminds us to look at the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, which are cared for by God. If God provides for them, how much more will He provide for us, His children? Trust in God's plan. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and to lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways we are to acknowledge Him and He will direct our paths. Trusting in God's plan for our lives can help alleviate anxiety about our situation. Faith over fear. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 reminds us that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When we face anxiety, we can rely on God's spirit within us to overcome fear and trust in His plan for our lives. Prayer and Thanksgiving. Colossians 4 verse 2 encourages us to devote ourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Prayer is a powerful tool to combat anxiety, as it allows us to bring our concerns to God and to express our gratitude for His provision. In conclusion, as Christians we are called to trust in God's provision and to cast all our anxieties on Him. By bringing our worries to God in prayer, trusting in His plan and relying on His Spirit within us, we can find peace in the midst of challenging situations. So, let us not be anxious about our situation, but instead, let us trust in God and His unfailing love for us. Overcoming Anxiety A message from God to you, my beloved child. I see the burdens you carry, the worries that weigh heavy on your heart. I understand your anxiety and I want to help you overcome it. You see, anxiety is a common struggle, but it does not have to define you. With my help, you can find peace in the midst of your anxiety and strength to face whatever comes your way. I want you to know that it's okay to feel anxious. You are not weak or lacking in faith because you experience anxiety. It is a natural human emotion, but I do not want you to be consumed by it. Instead, I want you to bring your anxieties to me in prayer. Pour out your heart to me and I will listen. I invite you to cast all your cares on me, for I care for you deeply. Second, I want you to remember that I am in control. Nothing happens without my knowledge or permission. Even in the midst of uncertainty, I am with you, guiding you and protecting you. Trust in my plan for your life, knowing that I work all things together for your good. I want to remind you of my promises. In Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30, I said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I offer you rest from your anxiety, a peace that surpasses all understanding. I want you to seek my peace. In John 14 verse 27 I said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. My peace is not dependent on your circumstances but on your relationship with me. As you draw near to me, you will find the peace you seek. My child, do not let anxiety hold you back. Trust in me, lean on me, and I will guide you through every trial. You are precious in my sight and I am with you always. My beloved child, I see the fear that grips your heart, the doubts that cloud your mind. I understand your struggles with fear and I want to help you overcome it. For I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I want you to know that it's okay to feel fear. Fear is a natural human emotion, 
but it does not have to control you. I want you to bring your fears to me in prayer. Cast all your anxieties on me, for I care for you deeply. Trust in me, and I will give you the strength to face your fears head on. I want you to remember that I am with you always. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Even in the darkest moments I am there, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you unconditionally. I want you to focus on me, not on your fears. In Psalm 34 verse 4 I said, I sought the Lord, and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. When you seek me with all your heart, I will deliver you from your fears and fill you with my peace that surpasses all understanding. I want you to trust in my promises. In Isaiah 41 verse 10 I said, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trust in my love for you, knowing that I will never leave you nor forsake you. My child, do not let fear hold. You back. Step out in faith, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. You are precious in my sight, and I will always be here for you. My dear child, I see your struggles with anxiety, and I want you to know that you are not alone. I am with you always, and I care deeply about your well-being. I understand that anxiety can be overwhelming at times, but I want to encourage you to cast your cares on me, for I care for you. When anxiety threatens to overwhelm you, remember that I am your refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. You can trust me to carry you through even the most difficult moments. I am the God of peace, and I can calm the storms of anxiety in your heart. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I have promised to never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in my unfailing love and faithfulness, and I will sustain you through every trial. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When anxious thoughts arise, turn to me in prayer and supplication. Pour out your heart before me, for I am your refuge. As you bring your anxieties to me, I will guard your heart and mind with my peace, which surpasses all understanding. Remember, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. You have the power to overcome anxiety through my strength. Trust in me, lean on me, and I will guide you through every storm. Be strong and courageous, my child, for I am with you wherever you go. Do not let anxiety rob you of the peace and joy that are yours in me. Trust in my promises, and you will find rest for your soul. My dear child, I see the anxious thoughts that weigh heavy on your heart, and I want to reassure you that you do not have to carry this burden alone. I am here for you, and I care deeply about your well-being. So I urge you, do not be anxious about any situation, but instead, bring your concerns to me in prayer. When anxiety threatens to overwhelm you, remember my promises. In Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34, I remind you to look at the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, they do not worry about their food or clothing, yet I provide for them. How much more valuable are you than they? If I clothe the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will I not much more clothe you? I understand that the world is full of uncertainties, but I want you to trust in me. I am your loving Father, and I know what you need before you ask me. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Instead of worrying, I want you to seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. Trust that I will take care of you and provide for your needs. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. I will give you rest for your soul. I know that it can be difficult to let go of anxious thoughts, but I want you to know that I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you. So do not be afraid. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trust in me, my child, and do not let your heart be troubled. I am in control, and I will work all things together for your good. So cast all your anxieties on me, for I care for you. My dear child, I declare to you today, do not be anxious about any situation in your life. I am your God, and I am in control of all things. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When you feel anxious, remember that I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You can trust in my love for you and my power to see you through every situation. Do not let fear and worry consume you, for I am your peace. I declare that my peace, 
which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. When you turn to me in prayer and thanksgiving, I will fill you with my peace and calm your anxious thoughts. Trust in me, and I will give you the strength to face whatever comes your way. I declare that I will provide for all your needs according to my riches in glory. Do not worry about tomorrow, for I am already there, working out my perfect plan for your life. Trust in me, and I will guide you on the path of righteousness. I declare that I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When you feel anxious, remember that I am with you, empowering you to overcome every obstacle. Do not let fear hold you back, for I have called you to walk in faith and victory. I declare that you are more than a conqueror through me who loves you. No matter what challenges you face, I am always with you, leading you to victory. Trust in me, and I will make a way where there seems to be no way. My child, do not be anxious about any situation, for I am with you. Trust in me and I will give you the strength and courage you need to face whatever comes your way. Remember, I am always with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. My dear child, I declare peace in every situation of your life. I am your God, and I am the Prince of Peace. When you feel anxious or overwhelmed, remember that I am with you, and I bring peace that surpasses all understanding. In John 14 verse 27 I said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Trust in my peace, for it is a gift I give to you freely. In Isaiah 26 verse 3 I promise, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Trust in me, and I will keep you in perfect peace no matter what challenges you face. In Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7, I encourage you, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Bring your worries to me in prayer, and I will give you my peace. In Romans 15 verse 13 I pray, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Trust in me, and I will fill you with joy and peace, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. In Psalm 29 verse 11 I promise, The Lord gives strength to His people, the Lord blesses His people with peace. Trust in me, and I will give you strength and bless you with peace. My child, trust in my promises, and let my peace fill your heart and mind. Do not be anxious about anything, but trust in me, for I am with you always. My dear child, I want you to know that you do not have to be anxious about any situation in your life. I am your God, and I am in control of all things. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When you feel anxious, remember that I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You can trust in my love for you and my power to see you through every situation. Do not let fear and worry consume you, for I am your peace. Affirm with me. I am not alone, for God is with me. He will never leave me nor forsake me. I choose to trust in God's plan for my life, knowing that He has good things in store for me. I cast all my anxieties on God, for He cares for me deeply. I am strong and courageous, for God is my strength and my shield. I choose to focus on God's promises, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill them. I will not let fear hold me back, for God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. I trust in God's provision, knowing that He will provide for all my needs according to His riches in glory. I am at peace for God's peace, which surpasses all understanding, guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I will not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, I will let my requests be made known to God. My child, Repeat these affirmations daily and let them sink deep into your heart. Trust in me and I will give you the strength and courage you need to face whatever comes your way. My beloved child, I affirm to you today, peace is my gift to you, a gift that I give freely and abundantly. When you feel anxious or troubled, remember that I am the God of peace and I am with you always. 
I affirm to you, I am the God of peace and I am with you always. I will keep you in perfect peace when your mind is stayed on me because you trust in me. I have not given you a spirit of fear but of power, love and a sound mind. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. In me you will find rest for your soul. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to me. And my peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me, and I will direct your paths. I am your refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore you will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. My child, trust in me, for I am the source of true peace. Let my peace fill your heart and mind and let it guide you in all your ways. Do not be anxious about anything, but trust in me, for I am with you always. With love and compassion, 